Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, in today's video, I wanted to talk um, a little bit about my current preoccupation with shopping and how it has led me to this book and also to starting a budget. Um, I've always kind of been interested in fashion and shopping as I think most women are these days. It's kind of like a pastime. Um, and it's gotten a little bit worse since I started doing reselling or thrifting for resell. Um, not until about a year in, I started noticing that I was just really preoccupied with shopping, thrifting, making purchases on Amazon. And it started to worry me when I would get up, drink my coffee and like go shopping on eBay. And I was like, this, like, I realized that this is not healthy and it hasn't always been that way. I've kind of gone back and forth with that a little bit, but I think it's, it got worse more recently. And I was just really concerned about my, myself. And I looked for a book regarding that. And I found this book called Spent, Breaking the Buying Obsession and Discover Your True Worth by Sally Palian. And, um, I wanted to read a little part from there that I really felt like was resonated with me. Um, let's see. When you disentangle from materialistic avoidance or obsessions and preoccupations, wait, when you disentangle from, yeah, okay. When you disentangle from materialistic avoidance or obsessions and preoccupations, you'll learn that money does not define you or bring you self-worth. You'll see that money is merely an instrument, a tool of exchange. The techniques in this book will enable you to use money in ways that are congruent with your values. And that is really my goal, is that I want to make sure that what I'm spending my money on does line up with my values. Um, so I... Um, so, okay, first of all, I want to go back to my low by year. I was going to try to do a low by year, or I'd started doing a low by year to kind of help with this preoccupation with spending and money, but it, it didn't really help. And um, I wasn't able to to carry it out, at least in certain categories, like the clothing and the the home goods um, and the makeup. I, I um, It started with, kind of came crashing down with the clothing and then the home goods and then the makeup, but I'm, I'm doing really well with the makeup. I, I haven't bought a lot of makeup. I've only, um, done a few things. Um, but I'm not being too hard on myself. It's not that big of a deal. I was looking at some of the statistics in this book and this is not a problem that is unique to me. <laughs> this is a very, very common problem. And I don't really think that I have it that badly. I mean, I'm not raking up a bunch of credit card debt and, um, I'm not in a lot of, yeah, I'm not in a lot of debt. It's just that I want my, my spending habits to line up with my values and I want to be able to save a little bit more aggressively. So, so with the low buy, um, I'm still trying to not purchase Starbucks. Uh, there's a few other things on my list, candles, office supplies. I've done really well with that. And then, um, subscriptions. I haven't purchased any more new subscriptions except for Aura that one I am on a trial because I get so many spam text messages now. I, it used to be all the spam calls, which have gotten better. And now I get like 15 to 20, if not more spam text messages a day. And it is very frustrating. So I signed up with Aura and that is supposed to help um, get your name and your number and stuff kind of off of the, the lists. Um, so anyways, there's a few things I'm still not buying and I'm still kind of trying to do a low buy year, but I'm not putting a lot of pressure on myself. Um, and then that leads me to my budget. I decided I would do this budget thing and I saw an advertisement for a budget planner, um, when I was watching something on YouTube and, um, it was like, I looked it up and it was like $59 and I was like, uh, I can find one probably much cheaper than that. 
found this one on eBay. This one was like $6 or something like that. Um, but it has all these cool little spaces. Like this one is financial goals. And I put in mine to track my spending, to pay off any credit card debt, which I don't have a lot, um, to save more money, to give money to worthy causes, and to be balanced with my money. And then the next one I thought, and it has like strategies and tactics like to help get you in the right mental space. Um, so like strategies, skills I need to learn to achieve my financial goals. My main thing was learn how to budget. Um, you can put in there money affirmations. I put God blesses me abundantly and I can do all things through Christ. Um, there's actions to earn more money, which I'm currently doing the eBay reselling, which I'm still doing. Um, I just really want to also find out like how much am I actually spending on this and where does that fit in with my budget? And then I also started doing a inventory tracker on Google sheets, which is Google's like Excel and I'm putting in my inventory and how much I spent on the items, how much I have it listed for and whether or not it's sold. So I'm working on that too. Um, and then actions to cut your expenses. And then of course that for me, that would be to budget, see where my money's going. Um, and then the next one on here that I wanted to show y'all, they have this month and year and then your budget. And so you have your income and then you have your expenses. And so I just, it's, it's a lot. So I just decided if I can work on this for 10 to 15 minutes a day, um, that would be good. I already, I did like five minutes yesterday. I did about 15 minutes today. Um, and this is what takes so much time is the expense tracker. So I really, I'm not going to write it in every time I spend something, I'm going to go to my bank account and write it down and just categorize it. That way I can then put it in my budget review. And it also has like a little, hold on, Rocco's coming. Oh no, before he steps on the keyboard. Okay, here he is. Here he is. Here's my big boy. Oh, he's so cute. He's a sweet boy. He's my little prince. My little prince. <laughs> okay, buddy. Here, let me get you a little thing to play with. What is this? What is that? What is that? Okay. So, yeah, this has a really cool, let's see if I can get the lighting, pie chart. So then you can, like, see the, the percentages of everything, I think, is how that's going to work. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm really excited for that. Um, you can start it at any time because it doesn't start in January or August. It You can write in what month you're starting it on. So hopefully that's going to be a good project for me, something I can that will kind of give me some peace of mind and help me set more goals and um, I'll be able to save more too, hopefully. So anyways, that is my video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a blessed week and I will see you next time. Bye.